What's up, guys, and welcome to a very special episode of Hitfall Neil Reviews in the form of another hodgepodge episode of reviews. So this is kind of a catch-up episode just because the individual reviews were not anything particular to get a full review on. Um, two of them are kind of early reviews just because the seasons are not done yet, and the other one is a review for a season that felt incomplete and didn't quite nail the landing. So... With that, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to start with the seasons that are still in progress just to get those out of the way. So the first one is Fear the Walking Dead Season 7. So um, the season just started and I had a chance to watch the first episode titled The Beacon. So we have Strand in control or running a facility, basically a high rise with people along the lines of running his own micro community. So think of like a tower builder where you have different um level of doing different things like gardening production fitness and things like that in a way to show i guess or to show alicia that he can run things his way and it works but as it inevitably happens it all falls apart and um we're led to or basically we're led in suspense to find out what's actually going on and of course this all comes after the um nuclear warhead was um just set off over the um immediate vicinity from the end of last season so we'll kind of see where they take it from here and what's going on but and where alicia and the rest of teddy's group went after the missile went off or did they all end up dying or what's kind of going on in the season um, so I did read somewhere or like peripherally saw that they were setting up Strand to kind of be the new Negan, but then it didn't quite feel that way. He kind of felt, I mean, I guess I could see it, but it felt like a wannabe Negan where he didn't quite um, fill the role or he basically because he was trying to be a, he was trying to show Alicia that he could do it rather than having his the full, um, the full belief that he could do it, I guess. Kind of felt strange, so we'll kind of see where it goes from here, but it's basically boiling down to Strand being Strand. So we'll see where this show goes, and I'm kind of hoping that they continue the recent string of good episodes and good content that the show has been producing. So I want to say that the last season, maybe season and a half, were pretty good. Um, I know there was a downspurt in the middle there, and kind of the seasons were all over the place with, you know, individual good episodes and then weird episodes and kind of being all over the place so we'll see where they go from here and if they do end up tying it somehow to the walking dead or world beyond um as far as story arcs and um timelines and things like that um to follow up that quick update um i did ha i am caught up on the walking dead season 11 so we just finished up part one as far as a three part or at least two part but i think three part breakdown of the season so we're kind of getting or we get a um it's got a two part or a two-fold um season that's going on the first part is um Maggie and Negan and Alexandria rebuilding um, a lot of Maggie and Negan going on as far as them being on their own working to build each other's trust uh, Negan showing that he or trying to show that he's changed and Maggie not trusting him at all so we'll kind of see where they decide to go from here as far as um, how they're gonna round out the season the whole thing with um, uh, Daryl and the group that he was with was kind of weird as far as that being resolved in this first season or I guess they're getting that good at taking out threats or that guy wasn't as far as a, as much of a potential threat as they thought but I guess they're gonna uh, tie it in somehow to the Commonwealth as far as where um, Ezekiel uh, Yumiko and um, what's his name are at so um, I, I'm kind of thinking that's going to also tie in somehow to World Beyond and the CRM and kind of what the Commonwealth is up to and potentially to the um, ultimate rumored films with uh, Rick and all of that. So overall, it was an interesting start to the season. It was a good start, or like I guess to repeat myself, but it was a good start, but I'm kind of holding out final judgment until the season is over just because... I'm not sure how they're going to round it out or how they're going to tie it all together. So um, that's kind of where I'm um, leaving that. 
So I know that's kind of a bummer, but I mean, overall, to me, it started good. And overall, I liked all the character interactions, what Daryl was doing with his girlfriend lady, um, Maggie and Negan, as far as their interactions. So none of it was bad. And I'm also liking all the stuff that's going on at the Commonwealth. So I'm really curious to see how they tie out the season and how they present each of the three parts. So with that being said, I'm going to jump into my review for American Horror Story Double Feature. So the season just ended as of my recording, or at least the day before this recording is released. But overall, I thought it was a good two-part, or the, as far as the title goes, a double feature and all that. It was a good two parts individually and it's kind of one of those things where it would have been an interesting independent two independent seasons if there was no COVID but even though the two halves were well presented it feels like there was a lost opportunity to round out the seasons or to round out the season to tie the two halves together where the first half was that pill for creativity um, to make people either more creative or turn them into zombies and then Late, the second half of the season being a uh, background and um, set up for Area 51, aliens, um, and all of that. Like basically elaborating on some of that lore and how the United States government was in on that plot. But while this finale for the second half of the season for Death Valley was good as far as the cloning of the beef or the... Um, creating the alien human hybrid and then the end of the first half was good as far as setting up the pill that drove, drove everyone to be zombies or super creative it feels like they could have had one more episode to tie the two halves together where the um, hybrid or that um, alien lady who was a doctor at the end um could have potentially been the same lady who created the black pill for creativity to set up the next phase of the plan where the um or the hybrid aliens needed or they basically the pill was created as a way to weed out the potential humans for the hybrids or at least maybe so, like a uh, infrastructure as far as supporting the creation of the hybrids between the alien and the lizard um, creature um, races and then the people who are not creative who become zombies be ultimately become the food either for the lizards or for the alien hybrid or something along those lines is basically a way to find the right or basically weed out the people so that there's an infrastructure um, and humans are not going to waste since um there is a need to have them to feed the high the race of hybrid um beings that are being created so if i was to grade the season i'd probably give it about a 80 percent so it was good i enjoyed it it was i liked um the second half more than the first half but i'm taking away points just because of that missed opportunity i mean part of it is yes it was they they kind of combined two separate seasons worth of content because of covid but it feels like one extra episode to tie it together in some form would have made the season that much better to kind of tie it all in and i mean in my opinion that's kind of what of what would have made that story better as far as tying the two halves together with the pill and the hybrid and the zombies and creativity kind of as a ruse just because just to have that next phase of the plan um but really just anything to tie the two halves together would have made that season better so that's all there is for this particular review so if you have any questions comments feedbacks what did you like or dislike about American Horror Story Double Feature, The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, or any of that, you can comment on this post on Twitter at PatelN01. And of course, you can help support the show, get links to all the various ways to subscribe to the show on the website at headphonesneal.reviews. And of course, you can get access to early or you can get early access to upcoming content and bonus content and all of that good stuff on the Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.